Okay. Well, it's Wooshy Tony update 155. Wooshy Tony update 155. You can see this is the uh, the second Olympic edition of Wooshy Tony in the Olympics, and. I don't know if it is, but he seems to be interested in, in beach volleyball. Got him fascinated. As you, if you'd watched the Wushi Tony update 154, he didn't seem to care too much for the uh, for the opening ceremonies. But now he's sitting here, nice and nice, calm and peaceful. My wife tells me, however, he's uh, learned a new skill. He's learned how to hide. He knows how to hide from his parents when they, uh, you know, how to say, when they try and catch him. Is this true, honey? He knows how to hide? Yeah. How does, what does he do? If he comes, if he comes, look Mm-hmm. I always forget him to go come to the kitchen. Yeah. But he always hides behind the refrigerator. Oh, you hide behind the refrigerator so mom can't see you. Oh my god. This guy, maybe he's going to end up an SAS or something, or like a Gurkha. Wow. Oh, that would be a nice skill. That would be proud. I'd be proud of my son if he ended up with a special elite forces. Yeah. Very good. <coughs> anyway. He's actually... Okay. He's actually in a pleasant mood because he had about a three hour nap, apparently. No, anyway, as you could say, it's Saturday, August 9th, 2008. It's uh, the first full day of the Beijing Olympics. Uh, I work today. Um, well, you know, I taught a few classes. Um, well, you could say yesterday we had a runner. Very strange thing for this person to do because I think it cost him about 8,000 RMB. I don't know, but then again, I had a funny feeling, well... The only reason he worked for us was for some ulterior motive, and he just fled. Made no sense. But anyhow, well, we fixed most of the problems. Thankfully, I've got very good staff. And uh, by the way, if you're uh, if you're interested in teaching English in Wuxi, we are looking for a couple people. We are looking for some some good teachers, or at least some people who want to give it a try. Anyway. Uh, Big thing is effort. You know, just gotta show up on time. Uh, it's an enjoyable experience uh, coming out here to China. So I can say, um, you know, part of it's just a morbid fascination of seeing this country develop, and uh, you can't complain, can't complain. And this guy right here too. I'm, I'm here for a while now because of him. Anyway, but he's going to be a Canadian citizen. Sometime this August, we should get it. We should should receive his citizenship card from the uh, the Shanghai consulate. That is the Canadian consulate in Shanghai. Tony, Tony, look at me. Yeah. Now I thought the ceremonies yesterday were interesting. I don't know. I, I thought the way they lit the torch was kind of cheesy, having a guy on a wire sort of run around the uh, the top of the stadium, but the. The to all the students I talked to, they thought it was really interesting. They, one of them said it was like Peter Pan. Uh, everybody was harping about those uh, the girls dressed like you know Budweiser girls. You know they're wearing the uh, the white short skirt and the white uh, and the white boots, and they were basically swaying back and forth, dancing for two hours. They're kind of acting like a human fence, uh, in to help all the. Uh, to help all the athletes, you know, sort of corral into one place, uh, you know, after they'd done their lap of the Parade of Nations. Uh, some people were myth that they didn't actually do a close-up. Anyway, you can see. I wonder who Tony's going for. Tony, are you going for the, um, are you going for the Swiss or the, uh, or the Chinese?
bikini volleyball team. Um, my God. Who are you going for, buddy? Go, Jayo, 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 Jayo. Uh oh, I think he went Jayo, Jay. Uh oh, uh oh, Tony, give me five, give me five. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. What do you want to do, Tony? Uh oh. Let's see what he's. Oh my god, he's running on my lap, and. What? Oh my god, he either wants the remote, he wants my shirt, or he wants my uh, Nikon camera case. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, he wants that, of course. Now he's happy. He's going to sit down again because he's got the camera. Anyway, uh, well, I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, I think tonight, look at Switzerland's beating China 10-9, but China won the first game. Now, um, I think tonight, 8 o'clock, I've been told the USA-China uh, basketball game is going to be played. I'm kind of... I'm very curious about that. I imagine the Americans should win by 20 or 30 points, but you never know. Upsets happen. Anyway, well, if you're watching the Olympics, enjoy them. Um, and, of course, if you're watching the Wushi Tony updates, there'll be a lot of them. You know, once the Olympics come and go, Tony is going to be with us for a while. Tony. Tony. Tony, look at the camera. Tony. Okay. Anyway, we'll end it at that. We'll end it at Tony's big mouth. Well, maybe not. It's big ears.